always welcome back to the Upper Whisper. Today I'm teaching you the simplest model I've ever designed, and I mean it. Well, maybe not the one I've designed, but the simplest model I've taught on this channel so far. I'll be teaching you to make an origami coaster. This is a coaster from one piece of paper, and it's pr somewhat big. So I think you'll enjoy this tutorial, and let's start. So you're going to start white side up if you want a, a colored coaster. If you want, if you want a, a, a white coaster, start color side up. And if you have white paper or a double sided paper, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so start by folding in half, edge to edge. And in the end of the video, this is in fold the edges to the middle, so the piece is parallel with. Now, this is a special video, because since this video is going to be so short, I'm going to be explain, also explaining what origami paper I get and why I get it. So that way, you can, someday, if you practice, you can be like me. Okay, if, and you get the right paper and don't get, like, cheap, junky stuff. Okay, now, fold this edge to this edge, the bottom edge to the top edge. Unfold. Now, okay, let me make sure it doesn't get blurry. Come on. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold these two edges to the middle. You know, it's probably best if I zoom in. There we go. Now, unfold. Actually, don't unfold. I got a bit confused there. What you're going to do is you're going to fold a crease that goes from this corner to this corner or folding it diagonally in half. Make sure that the layers don't slide. If I lay Jeremy Shaver, if you're watching this, hopefully you aren't. I mean, I'm not saying hopefully you're not, but you probably aren't. Um, I just wanted to say that you gave me inspiration for this project. So, um, I couldn't, uh, for, with your, um, knit, with your, um, pinwheel flicker. So now, hold the corners, the top layer corners to the middle, or to, to the, to the point that they go towards. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to stick your point finger under here, under the flap, and put your, um, and make sure it doesn't pass the middle line. Now take your thumb and put it right on top of your pointer finger and slightly pull. Pull carefully. Now pull again and repeat on the other side. I'm going to do it a bit quicker now. Like that. Now take the two flaps diagonal from each other and pull them the other way. Now here comes a bit of a tricky step. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold, um, you're gonna fold a crease from this point to this point. Then fold, fold this flap, this corner, to this point, to the center point. Now we're gonna do that again. Except this flap is going to go over top of this flap. I think you're seeing what's going to happen. Make sure things are extra strong or this won't work out very well. So you fold to the, from those points. Fold the corner to the middle. We're going to do that once more. So fold from this point to this point. Fold the corner to the, the middle. And I'm gonna repeat here, and then you're gonna fold the corner to the middle. But as you see, there's no more flap to go on top of it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift it up and kind of curve it and tuck it in. You're gonna make sure that there's no bending of the paper, except for when you're, you know what I mean, you, when you, with the flap, the pocket you're putting it in, and then once you crease it really, really well. Your coaster is done. Uh, I would show you how it spins, but I don't want to show my face. And then you can also flick it. I'm not going to do too far either because my desk is right against the wall. And it would be kind of pointless and it would be a waste of energy. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about the origami paper I have. One sec, let me grab it.
Okay, so I have three to the origami flavor that I mainly use. Some more expensive than others. I have Kami, which is made out of this. Sorry, which this that poster is made of. And here are the two brands I highly, highly recommend. Toyo, which is this stuff. And for the stuff I use in the video, Taro's Origami Studio. Both of them are amazing companies. No, I'm, they're not sponsored, but I just think they're, they have insane quality paper. And then I could be pronouncing it wrong, so don't get mad at me for this, but I took paper, or the paper that is real, that is actually more expensive is awful quality, honestly, for a more complex origami. Because I made a dragon, as I taught earlier, with um with uh, um with Kami from here. And then um what happened? And if I, I can bet you that if I made it from Ito paper, it wouldn't have gone very well. Or this infinity cube. It went pretty well. Um, but basically, um, the point is, their paper isn't very good. We're going to move Kami aside, and we're going to talk about Biotope. In my opinion, this is the best word on paper you're going to get. Biotope is very, it's like, similar to Taunt, which is all I also have, but I don't feel like explaining that right now. It's, it's, except it's smooth, it's, and it's a bit, and it's a lot thinner and even stronger. Now, I've tried many things. I made some crazy things with, with um it like this. That's it. I made another tutorial, but um, but I've made some crazy things with Biotope and it stayed together perfectly. Biotope is the best organ paper in my opinion. Then finally, there's tissue foil. Tissue foil is really nice. Foil on the one side, um, um, and and tissue paper on the other. It's still one piece of paper. It's pretty cool. And the nice thing about tissue foil, and then I'll tell you the downsides of it, is that when you use it, as you can tell, it's like sandpaper. It's really rough, which makes it perfect for kusadamas, which I'll be teaching you in in a couple of videos. Uh, my own kusadama I designed. So basically, um, that's the th and the th the thing about tissue foil though, is that when you sometimes when you put crease a bit too hard. It will make it will um it will rip on the corner, which is like I'll show you. I'm not actually gonna fold it, but if you make it crease somewhat like this, it might rip like around here. So you gotta be very careful with how you use it. Tissue foil is pretty nice, but it's not perfect. If there's any part we're on here, this part is biotope. And finally, I'll try to show you some taunt. Let me go grab it. One sec. Actually, right. I don't have any more. Actually, I ordered some, and I are fifty sheets of it for Amazon, and I already went through all of it because I love using it. But I can grab some out of my recycling bin. I, this is I wasn't gonna use this anyway, but this is taunt. It's kind of rough. Not sure if it's tissue foil, but it's kind of somewhere between biotope and tissue foil in texture, and it's uh, solid colors, and it's pretty nice. But basically. It's cool because it's really strong. Not as strong as biotope for some reason. The only downside of it is it, same with tissue foil, I meant to say, is that it's pretty thick. Which means it's not as good for complex origami. Anywho, I'm gonna stick that back. I'm not really gonna use it and I already folded it. I'm, it's recycling. I'm sure it will get used for something else. Okay. So now, I don't know what that was. So, that's what the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to um, make sure to I uh, tell this tell give this video to other people who like origami so they know what paper they use. And bye bye.